Hey guys, this is Elaine today with Daydream Photography and Graphic Authority. And if you remember last time, we were showing you a video uh, about using the extreme edges from the library collection. And this is basically where we kind of left off, was we dropped an image into this really textured, grungy edge, and that's where we left it. So today we're going to pick up there, and we're going to take it a couple steps farther and show you a couple different options that you have. Uh, as far as creating maybe a more finished piece of artwork for your customer. So this is the background that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this image and we're going to bring it over to this background. I'll tell you this is how I do all of my uh, canvas gallery wraps at the studio. Maybe not to this extreme most of the time with uh, such an extreme edge and such an extreme background. But what I'm going to show you is exactly how we do all of our canvas wraps. So using my move tool we're just going to click over here and drag on to the new background if I hold shift while I do it it's going to automatically drop it in the middle of the background we're going to go ahead and close and we're just going to minimize this file for right now because there's so many layers on this background we're going to be sure that we drag it all the way up to the top I should have dropped it in on the top but that's what I get for not paying attention where it was going to be dropped So now that edge is all the way up on the top. And you can tell now that this would already be a pretty cool image for somebody who collected cars or for an edgier, grungier look. Uh, this girl restored an El Camino. Uh, I don't know many girls that restore El Caminos, but it's awesome. And of course, she painted it purple. So um, this would be, you know, could be basically done if we wanted to make it into a gallery wrap. But I want to show you just a couple of more steps and things that you can do with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. This layer 19 is the layer that we just dropped in. If I command J, that's going to duplicate it for me. We're just going to go ahead and blink that one off. Go back to our original layer. And now from here, we can play with these blending modes and kind of get a bunch of different looks and take it even a little bit more extreme going into that background. I normally hang out in this area here with the overlay soft light, hard light, and see what I can come up with from there. So if we zoom in now, you can tell that not only do we have the edge of the texture and all the grunge showing through, but now we have the uh, diamond plate texture and look. Here's what it looked like without it, and that's what it looks like blended into it a little bit. So it makes it pretty neat. So you may ask why I duplicated that layer originally. What I want to do now is I want to pull her back in without all the diamond plate on top of her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this top layer on, blink it on, and create a layer mask. That's this box down here with a circle on it. And if I hit Command I, that's going to automatically fill it in with black, just the inverse of what you uh, brought it in as. Again, that was Command I. So if I come over here now and I paint white on top of her using just a soft brush, you're going to see how we're going to take that texture off of the layer below it. And we don't have to take it all off of her perfectly, but I know that mom doesn't want it on her face and on her head, uh, probably not on her skin much in general. So as we come through and take that off, we're just taking that diamond plate look off and we're leaving the texture that we already created that had that edge on it. Just loosely doing this for video purposes, I would probably take a little bit more time if I was really concerned or if we were making a large print out of this. And now all I did was mask that off of her skin and mainly around her face. Hit her up one more time up here just in case. So if we go from here, that's what it looked like before we added that. And now we took that texture off of her to where there's still we're building layers of texture. We've got the layer of the edge from that we created last video with the clipping mask. Now we dropped it onto this grungy diamond plate style background and then we dropped her back onto it and took off the texture after we changed the blending modes. I know that, that was a whole lot of stuff in a really short time uh, but I wanted to get a little bit deeper with you than just the hey here's how you create a clipping mask. Um, some options that you have to uh, further your artwork and just build on top of those layers. Um, I think that the more you add on these layers and textures, the more depth is created, the more interest can be created. 
Again, not always probably to this extreme that this image may be in, um, but this was a pretty extreme image with a pretty extreme senior girl, so it worked out well for it. Um, so this again has been backgrounds and edges from the Graphic Authority Library Collection. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at Landon, L-A-N-D-O-N, at daydreamphotography.net. Have a great day. Bye.